came up when I had a meeting, not as myself, but the Parliamentary Service Commission met with the Media Council of Kenya, the Editors Guild, and the Parliamentary Journalists, uh, what do you call it, the one of Haemba Association. We had a meeting and this issue also came up and we informed the team that we met that no media house has suffered any and will not suffer any sanctions from parliament. But we have reports that your colleagues that you have mentioned did not conduct themselves in keeping with the lay down rules and code of conduct and ethical behavior between parliament as a host and the media houses that cover parliament. The matter is before the Parliamentary Service Commission and the management boards of senior uh, management in the houses for investigations. While the investigations are going on, it is only fair that we don't prejudice these investigations by asking the two gentlemen to keep away from the presence of parliament. That is not asking royal media services to keep away. And that's the reason why you are here without any problem. Actually, I'm told is Leto is not affected. It's only Seth Olale who is affected by this investigation and it's going on. It is not just investigations by parliamentary bodies, but other agencies of government have been brought in because there was a total uproar from members that their security was heavily compromised by the conduct of this particular individual. I don't know him. I have no issues with him. But we have issues with what has been raised that was the conduct of the officer. Uh, what is the fate of the six cabinet members who are brought back? Can they still go through the vetting process? Yes, they are dismissed. Yes, they will be vetted. No, no, not vetted. Yes. Still, 